Hello and welcome to another video from me, Paraplays, and another Escape from Tarkov video. Now in this video we're going to be playing as a scav. No, not a chav, a scav. Now in the normal core game when you come in, you're fighting against other human players and also the enemy AI which are known in game as the scav. Well every few hours you have the ability to come into any game online and play as a scav and that means you can come in with some kit such as as you can see on screen I've got a shotgun, I've got a vest, backpack, a few other little goodies. So what's the point of this? Well I guess I can come in now to this game and there will be human players playing as the other side, the normal game, and I can fight alongside the enemy AI as it were, so they won't attack me and I can come into this game quite safely walking around until obviously a human player attacks me and vice versa. Now the benefit of this is that if I come in here and I lose all my shit, it doesn't matter. I can wait a couple of hours, come back in and I will have some basic kit again. However, if I come in and find some goodies in here such as a weapon, grenades, pistols, you know the usual stuff in here, and I extract I can then either keep that for the next time I come in as a scav or I can transfer everything into my main stash and use it with my normal character in game. So currently my standard character has got no weapons, nothing, I just have a hatchet. So if I find a, another shotgun in here or extra little goodies, I can transfer that into my stash and give that to my normal character. So I guess it's kind of a little bit of an advantage to do this. It enables you to fight against less players in the servers because the AI is not going to attack you. Now you may be thinking, well what happens if I, as a scav, I shoot another scav in this game? Well, that means in the level all the AI will then come for blood. They will attack me and the human player, so it's actually of a benefit to be very careful and not to attack enemy scavs, or should I say your own scavs while you're in game. As with everything in Escape with Tarkov, Everything's confusing, everything is head scratching, everything is you're gonna have to learn the extremely hard way. Even on this small map, which is the smallest map, it's probably 100 meters, 200 meters in, in diameter, still learning where the extraction points are is still extremely difficult, very, very confusing. And a lot of players on the forums are saying it takes hours to get your head around this. A lot of the larger ones, I think, would help. As you can see, that is a scav player there. Whether that's human or AI at this stage, I'm not quite sure. You can usually tell by their movement patterns. So let me just have a little look in here. And I'm going to grab all this, because if I can extract, I can sell some of this on the marketplace, get some dollar, and then see if we can actually buy a weapon from the weapons dealers, which is a second video that I'm going to be producing after this. And we will have a look together as a new player at what is actually on the market. So, even though I'm searching these bodies now, I do need to be careful because human players playing the normal game will kill me on sight and I'll lose everything as a scav. So, interesting gameplay mechanics coming in and I'll certainly be taking those grenades. I'm just going to swap them out. Now, the reason I'm putting them in my vest is because it's quicker access and I can get them out in my hand. If you put them in your pockets or your backpack, it takes much longer to actually get them in hand. So. Let's just have a little rummage around. I'm not going to stay too long in this level because I want to extract and see if I can keep some of this, these items when I actually get into the main core game. Let's just creep this in the body. In fact, there's another player there. I think that's a human player. He's not shooting me. That could be human player, it could be AI. Let's just search this body. Now I realised my previous video on should you buy this game now and I said no, got quite a lot of interest, quite a lot of view count and a few people commenting saying it all comes down to experience and you're a noob etc etc. While I agree I haven't got the, the hugest amount of vast experience in this game, I don't want to have to go to Google to learn how to do anything. So I'm going to give the devs credit for this with being beta because the audio graphics and everything else is superb. Absolutely no complaints. 
So we'll put that down to beta that we know there are other things coming, such as missions and objectives, etc, etc. When all that comes in, I think the game will then start to feel, for me, like a more complete package. Currently, it's very quote-unquote beta, which makes sense, I guess. One thing I hope that the devs do actually address in this game is I don't like the fact that the loot boxes, the bags and the ammo boxes, things like that, are always in the same places. This really does encourage people to camp these areas. I think it should be completely random. I don't know what your thoughts are on this, but having them in the same place means that much higher ranked players can just sit and wait. And such as this area here. Just close that door. This is one of the extraction points, so the chances are that uh, another player has just sat in here, camped, waited for that door to open, and killed them instantly, which uh, there's no way around that, because currently I'm not sure, even though I've got grenades, there are options for breach and clear with grenades, and we'll probably test that in a second video on whether we can actually do that. So let's extract now and have a look at the kit that we've actually got, and see if we can transfer the grenades and things I've found from being a scav, over to my normal piss poor character with not even a pistol. Okay, so here we are in my inventory. So this is my, the raid has ended. This is my scav loot transfer. So let's just have a look. Uh, shotgun glasses, what else have we got in here? Let's take our grenades and put them in the main stash. And what we'll do is we'll see whether we can actually transfer that back to our main character. And take all these because even though I don't have any sort of any support weapon or assault weapon or MP3 or MP5, etc., I'm probably going to sell those. And maybe more experienced players will may say, well, you know, why can't I inspect that? Um, you want to uh, keep those because they're like gold dust. Who knows? Again, everything's nothing's explained in this game. So I'm just going to transfer those back into my stash. Uh, cartridges, I'm not going to take them all in on the next run if I am a scav. Because that means I'm going to lose all these cartridges. So chances are I'm not going to fire many rounds off. And I think that is everything that we've got out of there. So if I click next and go back through to the main menu. And go back now to the character screen. Hopefully that should have transferred them and I can use them. Yes, it has. So this is my normal character. As you can see, I've got no pistols, no weapons, apart from a couple of knives. Um, nothing. No helmet, no goggles, nothing. But I, it looks like I have actually kept these two grenades, which is brilliant. So that's one way you can actually get in. It's almost like it gives you almost 50% more chance of getting some loot, if that makes sense. Now this box down here, I have learnt, whatever's in that box, I will never lose when I die. So it's not the hugest of boxes, but if you found, say, a pistol, you could put that in there. If you got killed, you know it's going to be there when you come back out. Now, under skills, as you can see, I've started to get all these items now, or should I say, I've started to rank up. And this is not through kills, this is just purely through experience of playing the game. You don't get more, you don't rank up quicker just because you get kills. It may be, you know, the amount of time that I've done running, or I've jumped, or things like that, or the amount of food I've eaten, or water. These will start to upgrade on their own. What happens when you get up there? Uh, obviously, it's probably going to go to level 2 or 3, like endurance. And as you can see in this one, you can master each weapon. Again, there's no signal on whether this means it's more accurate. Do you get more um, the ability to aim better or things like that? None of this is explained, but we are in beta. But anyway, this has been another video from Escape from Tarkov. A little quick look as plain as a scav. Hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see some more. My name is Paraplays. I'll see you in another video coming real soon. Bye-bye.